all day it was quiet and the second I start filming it's like sirens and traffic and everything. <laughs> Welcome back. I am a little late to the game with this. I was going to do it in January or February. It didn't get done, so I'm doing it now. But I had seen so many of these videos done and I absolutely loved watching them. But this is my Best of Beauty 2017. Um, this is basically, I'm going to be going over all of the things that I just could not live without for 2017. They worked amazingly. They lasted forever or they just were such an obsession of mine that I could not not use them. <laughs> I'm just going to jump right in. I figure I'm going to start with all over face and then end with whatever's kind of left over. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the thing that I applied before foundation and everything else is moisturizer. I also have super dry skin so I wanted something that was going to hold that moisture and this did it for me like it's hard to see but I've used almost half I've used over half of the bottle it's like to here. <laughs> this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus and it's absolutely amazing it hydrates your face so well when you put it on and it dries it feels wet if that makes any sense it's just because this your skin is getting so hydrated with this I absolutely love it um, you don't need that much of it so this I've gone through this much in all of 2017 because you just need a little tiny dab and it just hydrates your skin so well. So I was amazed by this. I absolutely love it. Next up for foundation, I was obsessed with two things really. Um, and they're both either BB creams or CC creams because no matter what I do, like the high coverage foundation works great, but again, I have dry skin. So at a certain point, it just looks weird. So if I can get away with it, I go immediately for BB creams or CC creams and I was absolutely obsessed with the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream. Um, it's a 8-in-1 beauty balm and skin perfecter. It's also got SPF 30 in it so it gives you a little bit of coverage from the sun which is great. I've actually, this one is completely empty, I just used all of it. but. Luckily, they still have it. The packaging is different, though. Like, if you notice, the packaging is a little bit darker over here. And they've added pomegranate extract to it, which I don't know what it does, but it makes it even more amazing because <laughs> look at the skin. It gives it kind of a dewy finish. Like, it's not matte, but it's not, like, wet looking. It's just very natural, which I love. And it feels like you're not even wearing anything. The other one I was obsessed with, it came in a little late to the game, but oh man, I was in love. It is the Andalou Naturals CC Color Correct in the Sheer Nude. Um, it's got SPF 30 as well. It smells so much like roses because it is made with rose stem cells and it's for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin as well as dry skin. This, like the BB cream, um, has kind of a sheer tint to it. It matches your skin tone. It's lightweight coverage but it's buildable so you can always apply more if you need a more full coverage. This one though is a little bit wetter. Like it stays wet for longer so if you wear glasses you might want to plan ahead and put this on earlier than you normally would to let it dry a little bit more because if you put your glasses immediately on it leaves those little marks in the makeup and it's really annoying. That's the only downside to this. But again, it just gives you a good natural looking skin tone as well as it helps hydrate your face and it's good for your face. So anything that is good to put on your skin that also helps you look amazing, yes. <laughs> Next we move on to concealer. One of them is not actually technically a concealer 
but I use it as a concealer. <laughs> the first one was the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer, and I use the color Fair. Um, and this is amazing. It is very full coverage, so it definitely gets rid of any kind of lines or dark shadows under your eyes. Um, it also covers blemishes really well. And yet it has a very lightweight feel to it, which I love because it's not, you don't feel like it's just stuck on your face. The next one was the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi highlighter, but I use it as a concealer and it's got like, the applicator is so much different because it's got a little brush and you twist and the makeup just kind of comes out as needed and you just brush it on and it give, it's very lightweight but it also just gives it that little pop um, so I use it a lot underneath my eyes just get those dark shadows out of there <laughs> it's really like applying air to your face but it looks so good <laughs> next up we have highlight and contour um, for contour I mean, I've used this in like every single video. I have bronzers and stuff, but I just constantly go back to this. It is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Like, obsessed. It is very pigmented, so you don't need a lot of it. So I haven't even hit pan yet. But I constantly use this one because it goes really well with my coloring. The other colors that you don't use are actually really great for eyeshadows as well. So it's like a great kind of all-around palette and this highlighter is beautiful like it's just very subtle but look at that shine I also when I want more of a matte look I put this one underneath my eyes to kind of set a little bit I mean it's just a perfect palette I can't say enough good things about this and then next up there were two highlighters that I just could not get over there was the Revolution strobe highlighter um, in the color Holographic Lights. This is just for when you feel like you just want to be a mermaid. Like, it's got this sea green tint to it, but it's really subtle at the same time. And it just looks like you've put pearls on your face. Can you see that? It's just friggin' glowy and gorgeous. And I love this. And then the other one I just kept constantly reaching for was the NYX Dose of Dew. It's just, I'm wearing it right now, can you see the amount of just, shoom. it makes your face and skin just look glowy and dewy and just spectacular. <laughs> I am in love with this. Basically, I just take a little swipe of it and just dab it on my face. It's exquisite. I am in love with this. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably one of my all-time favorite highlights ever. Next up, we have lips. For when I needed like a nude lip, I was constantly reaching for the L'Oreal Paris um, Color Riche lipstick in the color Ferris Nude. And it's just this gorgeous nude color, but it has like a kind of mauve tint to it a little bit. It's just stunning. I use this a lot. It doesn't look like I've hardly used it at all, which is amazing because it's so pigmented so you don't need a lot of it. I think like June through August, this was my go-to, wouldn't even touch another lip kind of color almost. Um, so yeah, I was in love with that. The next one I was constantly reaching for was the NYX Lingerie. There were a bunch of other colors that I would go through intermittently, but this was the one I gravitated to the most, um, and it was the color Exotic. I actually got this in my advent calendar, um, and I didn't even realize that it was the same one because I don't even pay attention to the names until I was like, wait, I have this. <laughs> That's why I love it so much. It's a red, but it's got that kind of natural looking quality to it at the same time. It goes on very creamy. It dries matte. It stays on pretty much all day. You don't really have to reapply from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I don't really have to ever reapply 
So, yes. And then this one I got in the advent calendar, so I got it in December, but I was constantly reaching for this, and I still do, so I'm just lopping it in there with the 2017, because that's when I got it, and it is the NYX Simply Red Lip Cream. Wearing it right now is just this gorgeous, gorgeous red color, and it's just this bright pop, and I love it. I'm noticing a theme with my stuff is that you don't have to put a lot on to get the most out of it um, because again this is super pigmented so you don't need hardly anything. You, I just usually do like one swipe and mix them together like that and then I'm done. Now I'm going to move on to eyes. First thing I'm going to talk about is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes. It is just a eyeshadow stick. Um, it is 24 hour waterproof and it is in the color Bad Girl Bronze. Um, I was just constantly reaching for this for a good couple of months there. Just and I still love it. Um, I've had to use the little pen. I had to actually buy a pencil sharpener big enough for this so I could continue using it because I was so addicted to it. And it's so quick to do your makeup. Just swipe it on and then just blend it with your fingers or a blending brush and it you're ready to go. Like it's that simple. <laughs> I love this. It's got a kind of sheen to it as well. You can't really see it there, but that's the color and then it just blends beautifully so you can kind of make it more of a smoky effect and it's so like it never occurred to me that I could just like swipe once and then be done with my eyes like just blend a little bit and then be done because I usually do like a whole bunch of different colors and try to blend them and everything and this is just one and done. The next one I was obsessed with was the Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes. I'm just, this is probably my most used makeup item of the whole bunch because the colors are just friggin' gorgeous. They don't look like much but they're just stunning um, and they're all matte but they give you just the most gorgeous combinations. You can tell how much I love these because I have reached pan on three of these. You can't really see but there's just the tiniest dot of pan in this one. But these are my go-to's. And they're really good. They're, the pigmentation is beautiful um, so you don't have to use that much. If I was a palette this would be it. Perfect. Not me perfect. The palette is perfect. <laughs> And then the last eyeshadow item was the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. It's just gorgeous. Like, look at those colors. They're beautiful. And a lot of them are shimmery. Some of them are matte. Um, it's just a good variety. And the whole thing smells of peaches. It actually tastes like peaches because some of the powder had fallen into my mouth. And I was like, I'm going to try this. Why not? <sighs> it's just so good. And the colors, again, are just super pigmented. Like, oh, it matches my shirt. And they blend beautifully. They go on very creamy feeling-wise, and then they just blend spectacularly. I love this. I literally could just sit here and smell this all day. It actually makes you crave peaches, quite honestly, when you smell it. You're just like, your mouth kind of starts to water a little bit. <laughs> And then moving on to lashes, there were two mascaras that I just kind of constantly kept reaching for. And one was the Maybelline New York Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express. This, which I'm wearing right now, it's kind of hard to see the lashes, but it just kind of fans out your lashes a little bit and it coats them beautifully. Uh, you, If you want like more of a thick texture, this might not be for you or you might have to do a couple swipes of this to get the added effect but this just makes your natural lashes look a little bit fuller and darker and a little bit more volumized which I really liked and this is what the applicator looks like um, I was n I'm not as much of a fan of kind of the just kind of stick you'll know what I'm talking about in a second um but that being said, I liked this kind of applicator because 
it's thicker in the middle and then thinner on the edges so it gives you a little bit of this curve to it um, instead of just a straight kind of applicator which I really liked it just naturally gripped the lashes as they form which is great and then this one I actually reached for more than that one uh, was the covergirl clump crusher extensions lash blast <laughs> this one just it grips your lashes and just makes them kind of again it enhances your natural lashes but like there's no clumps like there's no little dots in there um, and it doesn't clump your eyelashes together like some of the other ones do this one kind of does a little bit but not as much um, this one does not clump your lashes together and I love the applique because it is that little curve at the top and it's very thin so you can just kind of get right down to the roots and just lift up and you're not constantly stabbing yourself in the eye. <laughs> That's mainly the thing I look for in mascaras. If I can apply it vigorously without stabbing myself in the eye, I'm in love. I forgot to add this so I'm adding this in somewhere in there and that's probably why everything looks slightly different. For makeup remover I was always reaching for these. They are the Yes to Blueberries um, cleansing facial wipe wipes with apple and lemon peel um, to cleanse and moisturize all in one. They smell like a combination of lemon, apple, and blueberry. Like this smell it's just so good. I wish this was a perfume because I would wear this a lot. But they're just little facial wipes um, and they are really good on the skin. Um, they don't cause you to break out or anything. They add kind of this moisturizing quality so it doesn't leave your face feeling devoid of moisture. Again, I'm loving moisture products. <laughs> but it also just gets rid of your makeup really well so that's also the big seller about makeup removers is that you want them to get it all off and it does <laughs> it doesn't leave your face feeling dry after you take it off um, so you don't instantly need to reach for your moisturizer to put more stuff on your face you can give your face a little bit of a breather without anything on it which is great and then for hair, there were a couple things. Uh, first up was Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This does not leave any residue behind, um, so you're not constantly left with like weird grayish tints to your hair or anything like that. And it just kind of gives you that extra day in between washes where you get that good volume as well as your hair just looks nice and washed. <laughs> you don't feel like you have it in your hair. Um, it just gives it good texture um, and that's really all I got. <laughs> it's so good though. And then I use this every time I wash my hair. It, it is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Um, it instantly repairs and protects from heat and styling. So I put this on right after I get out of the shower before I blow dry my hair or do anything else to it um, and that way it prevents kind of the damage you get from heat products and it also just kind of smooths your hair a little bit as well so I love this it's so good and it smells really nice it doesn't leave kind of that weird sticky texture that some other products that you put in your hair do this just naturally goes into your hair. It also kind of helps hydrate it a little bit, I think. So, yay. And then also for hair, I was obsessed with the Tangle Teaser. It just is so much easier to comb my hair with this. It gets out all the tangles without like ripping your hair out. And it works really great with both wet and dry hair, which I loved um, because it doesn't break your hair off, <laughs> which is always a plus. But yeah, those were all the things that I was just consistently using and reaching for in 2017 
and will continue to do so in 2018. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to hit that like button down below and please feel free to subscribe if you are new or haven't done so yet and if you'd like to get notified when I post new videos click that bell somewhere down there and that'll let you know and I will see you guys next time. Bye! There's so many fire engines and we live by the busiest street. The, oh God. And it shoots up the, that sounded really wrong in my head. How do I do this without sounding completely dirty? It was on effortless, that, 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 that glass. Go. For makeup my, makeup my rover. Clean, clean, clean.